everybody, so today I'm going to be doing my 10 favorite makeup products of all time. These are all products that I have nothing to complain about. Uh, they're really working for me right now, uh, like during the weather and everything like that, or they're just amazing all the time and like holy grail products. So let me show you guys what they are. And I've just been loving this. Loving, loving, loving. The next is a holy grail, holy grail item. My first one is my Kat Von D uh, foundation. This is really matte for me, so I really prefer using it kind of in the summer when I'm a little bit more oily. But yeah, this has really been working for me. I used to use it with a beauty blender and then I tried it with a brush and I found I like it the best when I just use my fingers with this product. So this is what I've been using lately and I really have been loving it. Oh, and plus I did get this a little bit too dark for me when I went to Sephora and got it. So um, I'm a lot tanner than I was during the winter. So it's definitely working for me really well right now. The next is my Naked Basics palette. And I just love this palette. I, on a day-to-day -day basis, I use this almost every day unless I'm doing something special. But in the summertime, I really don't go crazy with my makeup. I try to do it as fast as I can because a lot of the time I'm just outside playing with my daughter and stuff and I don't need to go crazy with my makeup. So I just do a really easy neutral eye using this. And then to go along with that, I will usually prime my eyes using this NYX uh, Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and I've just been loving this and I've just been ever since I got it I'm so happy with this product um a lot of the times when I'm doing like a lazy makeup day I will just put this on my eyelids and rub it in and then just put like a neutral color over my eyelids just to like hide any um, like veins or redness or anything on my eyelids and then I will just be good to go and this is definitely like a holy girl product ever since I've bought it. My next has been a holy girl product for a long long time and it's the elf eyebrow kit. This thing has never done me wrong. I absolutely love it. The only thing that I don't love about it so much is the powder that comes in it just because it's way too dark for my eyebrows but when I purchase this again I'm definitely going to get the light because this is medium and it's just way too dark. Like. I can't know if you can tell. It's that color and it's a little bit too orangey for me too and it just doesn't work well with my brows. But I love the wax so much. I definitely, this keeps my eyebrows on all day. Like, it doesn't, they don't smudge or anything. And I guarantee that if I slept with this on, my eyebrows would still be the same the next day. Um, when you use this wax and set it with a powder, it's definitely good to go. And I love that duo. The next beautiful. The next thing is a Wet n Wild single and this one is in creme brulee and it's just like a neutral tan and it's not going to swatch really good right now because um it broke a while ago and I just put um a few hours ago I put alcohol in it to fix it because it was broke. This is what it looks like. I did the little alcohol trick and fixed it and I really hope this is going to change because this had amazing pigmentation and it's not so pigmented anymore ever since I did that and I heard that it should go right back to the way it was so I'm hoping it feels fully dry but hopefully it's not and it's going to go back to the way it was if not I'm going to be sad but either way this was only 99 cents at Walgreens so I'll just go pick up another one I just hate wasting products like if I can fix something I'm going to try my hardest to do it because I I hate wasting the next is a holy grail that I'm definitely going to repurchase because it's almost gone. But it's the Stay Matte Powder by Rimmel. You can see I've majorly hit pan on this. And I love this powder. The next is a holy grail, holy grail item, which most of these are. That's why they're in my top 10. But it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the Brightener shade. And I just recommend this to anybody. It brightens up your under eyes so Amazingly, if you have a really dark skin tone, I might not suggest the brightener shade just because this is way too light on me, but I do like it for like highlighting and concealing under my eyes since it is a peachy tone. It's just amazing. Next is a um, Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer, and this is not a good concealer. Um, I knew that before I bought it because I've heard it before, but I definitely don't recommend buying this for concealer. If that's what you want is a concealer for under your eyes, 
But this is a great highlighter. I got this in the lightest shade and um, at least that was there. It's in Fair. And I love this for highlighting. It's really, really nice. It like blends in really well and everything like that, but it doesn't have much coverage. The next is a NYX um, lip liner in Peekaboo Neutral. And here I'll do a swatch. I showed this in my NYX haul a little while back. But this is like a Your Lips But Better kind of color. It's really like a nude, a really pretty nude pinky color. And um, I just love it. Like sometimes when I'm not doing much to my makeup, I'll just outline my lips with that and blend in with a little bit with my finger. And it just looks so pretty. It really looks like your natural lips, but better. And I love that. The next is a Kat Von D powder. And come on guys, look at this packaging, it's so beautiful. And I absolutely love this. And again, this was too dark for me, which it doesn't look that dark, but it really is. I don't know. It's so pigmented. This is by far my most pigmented powder that I've ever tried. This stuff is so creamy and pigmented and amazing. And you can use this just with a moisturizer and it'll give you like medium coverage. Like if you put a moisturizer on, let that sink in and then go over it with this with no foundation. This is a great, great powder foundation. Okay, so I just realized this is 11 things. So yeah, we'll just forget about that. So my last thing is a Wet n Wild uh, blush. And this is in Mellow Wine. And this is so beautiful. It's like the perfect rose shade. It's so pretty. It's like a deep rose and it's so beautiful. I use this about every single day and I just love this blush so much. It's a pretty decent lasting power too so I really love those blushes and I definitely want to get more. And yeah that's it guys. That's my 11 most favorite products ever which is actually going to be 10 in the title but I gave you an extra one because I don't think I originally planned on putting this in here but this is a really great powder so. Yeah, those are my 11 favorite all-time makeup products, and I love these all to death and use them pretty much in my daily makeup routine, and most of these are like holy grail products that I cannot live without. And yeah, so if you guys did enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up. That really makes my entire day. And please also subscribe if you're not already, and thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all.